Starbase has had a wild history ever since SpaceX moved in only nine years ago. Since then, they've transformed the area from wetlands to a launch site at a revolutionary pace. So let's take a quick look at how we got here, ready for the first orbital flight of Starship. Let's start back in 1967, when work began on Boca Chica Village, then known as Kennedy Shores. It was intended to be a small town just over a mile from Boca Chica Beach. However, a Category 5 hurricane hit the in-progress town, stopping construction with only about 30 houses built. Fast forwarding to 2012, SpaceX began looking for a new, private launch site for their Falcon 9 and future Falcon Heavy rockets. After considering seven sites around the United States, SpaceX decided to build their own new launch site in Boca Chica, Texas. The launch pad and the integration facility would be built right by the beach, while the control and processing facilities would be back near the village. Ground was broken in 2014, but work quickly halted when they realized the ground was not adequate for building foundations. A large dirt pile was formed to compact the soil of the launch site, and the facility was left dormant for several years. In 2018, SpaceX announced they would instead be using the site for testing their Mars rocket, at the time called the Big Falcon rocket, or BFR, and now known as Starship. Around the end of that year, the dirt pile was spread out to make the test site, and work began on Starhopper, the first ever Starship prototype. In 2019, Starhopper began testing, and in July of that year, it lifted off for the first time on a short 20 meter high hop. It flew again just a month later, this time up to 150 meters. Today, Starhopper is used as a water tank for the suborbital test site, as well as a camera mount. Starship Mark 1 came next, and this was the first full-scale prototype. In November 2019, it was moved to the launch pad for initial testing, where it burst during cryogenic proofing. Then came several test tanks, intended to demonstrate new build techniques. The next three prototypes, SN1, 3, and 4, all failed during initial testing as well. In particular, SN4 was destroyed after a propellant umbilical failed to attach properly, causing a methane leak that then ignited, destroying the vehicle and the pad. But SpaceX's luck finally arrived, and Starship SN5 took to the skies in August of 2020, performing its own 150 meter hop. And SN6 did the same just a month later. Both vehicles only featured one Raptor engine, and were just the tank section of a Starship, but things were only starting to get exciting. Around this time, work began on the orbital launch pad. Construction was slow, but SpaceX was already looking to the future. Also, the first high bay at the production site was nearing completion. In December, Starship SN8 lifted off, featuring three Raptor engines, a full set of flaps, and a nose cone. SN8 flew all the way up to 12.5 kilometers, aiming to validate a full landing profile. Unfortunately, although its ascent was nearly perfect, its engines failed just before landing due to tank pressurization issues, and the vehicle then impacted the pad. SN9, 10, and 11 all had unsuccessful landings as well. SN10 came very close to sticking the landing, but began leaking propellants after a hard touchdown. Much like its predecessor SN4, this leak spelled its doom. But SN15 did it. It successfully performed the first landing of a full-scale starship, and it survived to tell the tale. Today it resides in the rocket garden, watching its descendants get ready to fly to orbit. And Ship 20 was intended to do just that, but was ultimately bumped from the orbital flight in favor of Ship 24, which sports multiple upgrades. And on the booster side, it's been a wild ride too. Booster 3 performed the first engine testing of a super heavy booster, and Booster 4 was set to fly on the orbital flight. But much like Ship 20, Booster 4 would be bumped from the mission in favor of Booster 7. After one scrubbed launch attempt and a few vehicle repairs, Booster 7 and Ship 24 lifted off on April 20th, 2023. After clearing the tower, and with three Raptors already flamed out, the duo began pitching downrange. Unfortunately, engines continued to shut down, and the vehicle lost control and began to tumble just after passing max Q. The stack was autonomously destroyed by the flight termination system. While the four-minute flight didn't hit most milestones that SpaceX set out to accomplish, 
It undoubtedly provided engineers with troves of data on the vehicle's flight behavior, its structure, and how 33, or 30 and dropping, Raptor engines worked together. It was a big day and a major accomplishment by all the teams. Onward to Flight 2.